Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today's video is going to be a romance recommendations focusing around books that have the high school bully dark romance trope. So this is one of my favorites. It's kind of like enemies to lovers but it's usually like takes place in high school. There's definitely like a rivalry going on between the two leads and then it ends up leading to a romance later along the line. A lot of these tend to fall into the dark romance category. Some of them have more mature themes, but I have a good array of recommendations for you guys today that I'm super excited to share. I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys what those recommendations are. But before we get started, I want to say a humongous thank you to today's sponsor, which is Ana Luisa Jewelry. If you guys have seen in my past videos, I am an ambassador for Ana Luisa and I've been working with them over the past year. They have such a wonderful array of jewelry. You can find something for everybody in your life, including yourself, but I'm really excited because Ana Luisa is currently holding a Mother's Day sale. So if you use my link down below, you'll get 15% off your purchase. So shop for your mother, shop for yourself, whoever it is in your life that you want to treat. Definitely use my link down below for that 15% off. Today I am wearing this gorgeous daisy necklace from Ana Luisa. Also, I have this ring here that I'm going to be gifting to my mother, but here's a little close-up of what it looks like. It's super pretty, the, the opalness, and then it's also adjustable so it fits everybody. Um, and then I also got this other really cool necklace that was created in partnership with Lexi Lombard, who is a fellow YouTuber who I just absolutely love. So this one's for myself because I loved it so much and I just thought it was really cool. It's like a women's body, a little silhouette moment and I just think Lexi is fantastic. So I was really excited to grab her piece on the website. But yeah, if you guys watch my videos, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm constantly wearing this jewelry. I just think they're such a fantastic brand. The fact that they offset all of their carbon emissions that are caused by making these products to be environmentally friendly. All of their pieces start at $39 and go up. So they really do have have that affordability factor with the quality pieces. Like I've never had an issue with any jewelry that I've gotten from them and they'll never turn your finger green, they'll never tarnish and look off colored. It's just the best quality and just the best prices. So definitely go click the link down below, check out their jewelry for 15% off. I'm really excited for this sale. It's going to be going until May 5th in the US and May 3rd internationally. So please go check it out. Let me know if you get anything. And yeah, thank you Ana Luisa for sponsoring today. So getting started with the book recommendations, the first book on my list is called Dirty Wicked Prince by Eden O'Neill. This is going to be a part of a series, however this is the only book out so far, but it did end on a bit of a cliffhanger which I'm honestly very impressed by this book because I feel like I'm constantly guessing the endings of books, constantly guessing the plot twists or like the thing that makes the book crazy. But with this book, I totally didn't predict anything. And by the last page, I was like gasping at what was going on. It was such a fantastic read. This one follows a girl who, after being bounced around from different school districts her whole life, growing up with a father who didn't really always have a steady job, her father passes away. So her and her brother are left to this man that was friends with her brother and they move in with him and he's super rich and lives in this kind of ritzy town and they go to a private school at this school, there are these boys there who kind of run everything. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like in every bully romance, it's always like a guy with his three friends that are like known to rule the school and they have like some type of family heritage that makes them elite to everybody else because I feel like that's so many of the books I'm talking about today. But this one specifically, it was totally like that. It's like this guy and his three friends and they just kind of own the school. They're like the cool guys. And this girl does not take shit from anybody. She's super badass and like doesn't take it when they're trying to belittle her. So it kind of starts a feud between them and the story goes from there. So I really love this one. Totally enemies to lovers, bully romance. And like I said, the ending had me on my toes and I'm so excited for the sequel to come out but I highly recommend it. The sequel will be out soon, so definitely check it out. Next book on my list is called Cross the Line by Becca Steele. This is actually like a shorter novella book, but it's definitely a good read if you're looking to either hit a reading goal and get more books in for your monthly, um, your monthly reads, or if you just want something short and sweet. I really enjoyed this one. It is about a boy who moves from America to the UK, and he tries out for the soccer team, 
and he ends up taking this really popular guy's spot who was suspended off the team and this guy is not having it. He's not happy that this new kid is coming in and taking his spot. The guy from America is openly gay but not to the team yet and this guy that is from the team, the one that was suspended, is supposedly straight but they kind of form this enemies thing and it goes from there. I really liked this one. It was super short, like I read it in one sitting. I liked the pacing of it even though it was super short. So like I said, if you just want like a quick read, something to kind of throw into the mix, I thought this was a really good one. Definitely something you could read in one day, but I really liked the enemies to lovers kind of bully aspect of this one as well. Next book on my list is called Love Me Never by Sarah Wolf. This is also part of a series. I've only read this one though. It is about a girl who again moves to a new school. I feel like that's such a common theme with the bully romances as well. Uh, but she moves to a new school and she's kind of similar to the girl from the first book I talked about. She's very badass, kind of does her own thing. And she goes to a party one night and this guy who's like the really popular guy at the school makes fun of one of the girls that she's at the party with and she punches him in the face and makes up a rumor that he kissed her and that like she wasn't into it and he's just kind of a bad kisser and he's gross and it spreads around the school. He obviously doesn't like that and so a feud kind of ensues between these two and kind of like a bully war happens and the story progresses from there. This one I really really enjoyed. I thought the characters, the main characters, especially the girl, was so fantastic. Such a change of pace for a romance protagonist. I really like when the girls are kind of like the take no bullshit, like really fun and quirky type girls. And that's totally the vibe I got from her in this story. So I definitely recommend checking this one out. Again, I haven't read the rest of the series, but I really want to because the first book was definitely a great read. So I highly recommend it. Next book on my list is Paper Princess by Erin Watt. This is a book that I read years ago and to this day it's still one of the craziest reads I've ever read and this is also a series but you could just read some of them. You don't have to read the whole series. Uh, but this one's about a girl who her mother passes away, her father's never been around, and she kind of subjects herself to doing um, stripping even though she's like 17 years old. And one of her dad's old friends takes her in and he has five sons and they're not happy with the fact that she's staying with them and they kind of make it their mission to make her life a living hell. And there's one guy in particular who's like the meanest but he's like the one that's the love interest. Don't get me wrong, I love the romance in this book and I love when we finally get to that point where there is feelings, but the whole build up to it, kind of the whole bullying aspect, was what made the story super interesting. And again, this was a crazy book too. I remember there being plot twist after plot twist. It just got crazier and crazier as you continue. So yes, this is a part of a series. You could just read book one, but I have a feeling you'll want to continue after reading the first book because it's that wild. I remember this being a quick read for me. Like I read the first book and I I immediately needed to start the second one so I like downloaded on my Kindle to read it so I have a feeling that you will have a similar experience if you haven't read this one yet. Next up is one of my absolute favorites and that is Wicked Lies Boys Tell by Kay Webster. I really love this one because it's kind of like friends to enemies to lovers which is just a trope I'm obsessed with and it follows two boys who were once best friends. Something happens that puts a strain on their relationship and they become mortal enemies at school. It's more so that like one of them has a hatred for the other one. I really loved the characters in this book. There was like one was a bad boy and one was kind of like anti-social like kept to himself kind of like e-boy type thing and I really liked that. I liked that it wasn't like the one like really popular guy and like the one dorky guy. It was kind of a different um, level of characters that you don't see a lot in Enemies to Lovers so I enjoyed that aspect of it but I just really loved the romance in this one. I've read so many just like friends to enemies to lovers, like something happened, put a strain in their relationship. Like I've read a ton of books like that, but this one I have to say is probably my favorite and I really enjoy the buildup of the enemies bit and then it becoming a romance. So I think you guys will really like this one if you haven't read it. It is a standalone, so it's just the one book but it's totally worth the read. I couldn't have made a high school bully romance book without mentioning this next title and that is Bully by Penelope Douglas. Literally like the whole theme of this book 
is this video so if I hadn't mentioned this one it would have been such a tragedy but Bully is also a part of a series but you can totally just read the first book um, and it's about a girl and a guy who grew up as best friends one summer the guy ends up going to stay with his dad comes back and he's a completely changed person they're no longer friends in fact he has kind of this hatred towards her that she doesn't understand and their senior year of high school she's finally fed up with it and decides that she's going to fight back and not let him just rule her life and be mean to her so we're kind of seeing them through their senior year and how their interactions take place and I really really love this book again it's just like the perfect high school bully romance and it doesn't have that like aspect of the all the boys that are friends and like they rule the school like it's really not like that he's just kind of this random guy who happens to have a vengeance for her for some odd reason that we don't know about until we read. So I like that. It's not the typical bully romance, but it is kind of the high school bully romance of the romance genre. So highly recommend this one if you haven't read it already. It's a really good one. Another Penelope Douglas book that I have to mention in this video is Punk 57, which I also talk about a lot on my channel, but if you haven't read it yet, you totally need to. It's about a boy and a girl who, when they were in elementary school, they were paired up as pen pals, and as the years progress, they continue to write to each other. The book starts off with this male character who once was just like this happy-go-lucky guy, especially in the letters that he would write to the main girl, but something tragic happens and it really taints his perspective on life and makes him very angry and he ends up transferring schools to be with this girl randomly enough like he wasn't going there specifically because of her but they end up at the same school he knows that it's her she does not know that it's him they had promised each other not to look each other up he breaks that promise and he knows that it's her she has no idea that it's the boy she's been talking to her whole life over letters and he is really mean to her and it's kind of crazy like I wouldn't expect this plot to go that way where they end up being enemies at school but that's how it goes and this book is definitely a wild ride but if you're in for something a little crazy I definitely recommend it. I love the progression of this romance and the enemies aspect really really is so good and the male character is super convincing with his hatred towards the girl until it becomes a romance and I just really love this one. It's one of my favorites. Next book on my list is kind of a different style of high school bully romance, but it is Stepbrother Dearest by Penelope Ward. This book follows a girl who is in high school when her mother gets remarried and her stepdad has a son that doesn't live with him, but he ends up moving in for I think his senior year of high school. So she's never met him. He moves in and they immediately have a really rocky start and he's super mean to her. He doesn't want to be there but she kind of can't help but push his buttons and like make him a little agitated so they have this kind of enemies um arc. I don't want to spoil this book because it's really a wild ride but I do have to say that this bit that I'm explaining right now of them being in high school is just like the teeniest tip of the iceberg. The rest of the book takes place seven years later after something happens. This book definitely isn't for everybody but I found it to be really really good. I know for some people it might seem weird that they're step siblings but they really only know each other in that sense for about three months of their whole life so I promise it's really not weird in the way that you might think it will be. I don't know. I say give this one a shot, especially if you're hesitant about it. I've made other people read it and they're like, oh wait, this is actually so good. So if that's you, if you think this is going to be a weird one, I recommend still checking it out. I really, really liked it and it definitely has that bully aspect, but it's such a good book highly recommend it. Okay guys this last recommendation I actually am currently reading but I wanted to throw it in the mix and just let you guys know what it is and it is called Make You Beg by Chantel Tezier. This is another one that's kind of the style of there being multiple guys who are kind of rude towards this girl and she ends up having a relationship with one of them and this is like she was best friends with these guys but something happens that makes them her enemies and makes them all hate her so she's at school with them constantly getting bullied and ridiculed by them um, even though they were her friends at some point so you're kind of unraveling why that is what happened also I think in this book she does have a relationship with two of the guys not just one so I'm curious to see how that happens I'm not quite there yet but I thought this definitely seemed like a different style of bully romance it definitely has some other themes that the books I mentioned previously don't have so I thought I would throw it in for anyone curious for something a little a little crazy a little different so check it out if you haven't already obviously I don't know too much about it because I did just start it 
but I will let you guys know what I thought about it when I do my wrap up at the end of the month so keep your eye out for that. So guys those are my high school bully dark romance recommendations. If you guys found a new book to read through this video definitely let me know what you're gonna start in the comments down below or if you have any other high school bully dark romance recommendations for me totally let me know because I'm constantly looking for new ones and trying to find things to read so tell me what your recommendations are for sure in a comment down below. You guys can also follow me on my Twitter and Instagram and reach out to me on there. I'm at lovely like Laura. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And again, a huge thank you to Anna Louisa for sponsoring this video. If you've not yet clicked the link in my description down below for 15% off some jewelry, definitely go check it out and let me know what you find on there. If there's anything that piques your interest, I'd love to match with you guys and wear some, some fun, sustainable jewelry. So definitely check it out if you've not. But other than that, I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you all in my next video very, very soon. Bye.